I'm running away from this pain. So let's see if people I'm actually know what Murphy's Law is. Let's find way. out. Mm, no, really, I don't know. Yes, uh, it's that if something could go wrong, uh, it will go wrong. For example, when uh, toast uh, falls down, it will always fall down from the better side down. Yeah, it's uh, when something goes worse, it usually goes worse uh, too, too much. Yeah, if something can go wrong, will be wrong. So the general opinion is that Murphy's Law is if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Or is it? It all goes back to 1949. Edward Murphy Jr., an aerospace engineer working for the U.S. Air Force, conducted an experiment on the resistance of human beings to acceleration. During this experiment, there were 16 two-way sensors to be installed on the test subject. In this case, Captain John Paul Stapp and the technician installed all of the 16 of them the wrong way. Really? What? No way. So you might think that now you understand Murphy's Law, but actually it is not what people really think it is. Murphy's Law is, if there are two or more ways to do something, and one of those ways can result in a catastrophe, then someone will do it. But don't think this is meant by a pessimistic slogan. What Murphy is really hinting at is defensive design. This consists on thinking all the things that it could be misused when you design and make those impossible. It is one of the key principles of engineering since when you are designing a product, you are looking for a product that is flawless and defensive design gets really close to it. So Murphy is not trying to throw humanity into depression, but actually trying to explain to us that no product is flawless the nature left to itself tends to entropy, that is, to disorder. That is actually the second law of thermodynamics. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe to our channel to see all the videos that we're going to be uploading, and thank you for watching.